In this video, we will show you how to replace your front ABS wheel speed sensor on this Nissan Altima. Let's get into it. Okay friend, let's get started on our job. The first thing we need to do is safely raise and support the front of the vehicle so the wheel's off the ground. After you've done that, we'll remove all five of our 21 millimeter lug nuts and then the wheel. Now that we have the wheel out of the way, let's have a look inside of the wheel well area. You're going to find your ABS wire leads up behind this plastic panel. This is where the connector will be located. To gain access to this, we'll remove this push pin. To remove your push pins, carefully remove the center to unlock it and then you can remove the outer portion as well. You can use a trim tool, small screwdriver, whatever you have. We'll just give that a quick inspection, make sure that it is still reusable and set it aside. Gently tug this away so you can gain access to the connector located behind this. Now for that electrical connector, you'll find that you have one locking tab in the center of this. Use a small pocket screwdriver, carefully depress that locking tab and then pull this out of place. Give each end a quick inspection for corrosion and we'll move along. Let's follow the ABS wire to each of its mounting points. You'll find an area along the body here. Go ahead and take hold of that ABS wire, give it a little wiggle and pull it out of place. We'll continue on following the ABS wire. You'll find it makes its way along the other side of the strut to a next bracket. Now we can follow this across the front. We'll pop this out of place. Now we'll make our way along the rear of the steering knuckle. That's where you're going to find your ABS sensor bolt. We'll be removing this 10 millimeter headed bolt. Once we've done that, we'll carefully take hold of the sensor, give it a wiggle and remove it from the steering knuckle. We're being careful not to break off the bolt and the steering knuckle. As we wiggle this back and forth, we'll be trying to pull it out of the steering knuckle. Try not to break it off in the steering knuckle. It's a little bit difficult to remove it at that point. All right, there it is, friend. With the sensor out of the steering knuckle, the next thing you wanna do is clean and inspect this area. Never spray any type of solvent inside of the hole where the ABS sensor goes. We'll just make sure that it's clean and smooth. Let's get ready to install our ABS sensor. We'll take that sensor and slide it right into the steering knuckle. Align your mounting bolt hole. Start in the mounting bolt, snug it up and torque it to seven foot pounds, which converts to 84 inch pounds. Double check to make sure that's completely secure. Let's continue on routing our wiring. We'll go into our first mounting point along the back side of the front strut. Now we'll take that wiring and bring it across the back side of the front strut. Slide that cable into its mount on the body. At this point, we'll continue on with our electrical connector. Locking tab facing out towards us. Press it in, listen for a click, make sure that's secure. Now we'll tuck this away so it's safe and it cannot get damaged in any way. Make sure you have it in the unlocked position. That means you have the center in the outright position. We'll press it in by pressing in the outboard aspect of it and then lock it in with the center. At this point, you just wanna confirm everything's secured as it needs to be. We'll reinstall the wheel, start on all five of our 21 millimeter lug nuts and bottom them out. With the wheel safely back down on the ground, let's torque these in a crisscross manner. Torqued. Now, don't forget to order all your parts from 1AAuto.com. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.